Happy mid-morning, guys. Okay, well, it wouldn't be a week, <laughs> especially on this channel, if we didn't discuss something on the economic front, because obviously that's important to us all as well in regards to our prepping. And a question that comes up quite often is, should I consider moving at this point? I mean, I get the emails, you know, we're in such and such a place, we want to move to such and such a place, is this a good time? The issue that you always get is, unless you're going to try to time the market, which is very difficult, if you're selling at a peak, you're buying somewhere else at a peak. If you're selling in a trough, then you're buying somewhere else in a trough. It's very difficult to sell at the peak, say, over the summer, and buy in a trough, which will probably be sometime next year. Okay. The reason I say this, and I want you to guys to get an idea here, it's 8.34 in the morning, and housing starts and building permits numbers came out this morning. So this will give you an idea of what's currently going on in the real estate market. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you know we peaked in the summer and we've been declining since on a relatively rapid pace. So the numbers look a little mixed unless you look at them. But I want to give you what the <sighs> eh numbers are and then what the scary number is. Okay, Housing starts month over month, Okay, so from November to December. Housing starts, which means construction was actually started, dropped a half a percent this month versus last month. Now, last month they dropped 4.2%, so we've seen a steady decrease in the amount of building starts that are going on. Not that that's terribly unheard of, because it's winter, all right, and it's harder to pour concrete, it's harder to do things in the snow or whatever. You're not, you know, nobody's trying to, nobody's starting building a house up in Wisconsin right now. Nobody's planning on starting building a house this week pretty much anywhere up north where there's all going to be snow. Okay, just saying. So housing starts to slow down this time of year is nothing terribly surprising. The interesting part is economists thought it was going to be worse than it is. Now, they expected 1.4 million new homes to be started building in December. We actually came out at 1.427. Okay, so a quarter of a million houses started being built that more than what were expected. Well, we got to house these illegals somewhere, and housing starts could be anything from single-family homes to duplexes to townhomes to apartments to whatever. All right. And again, you got to remember it's not yet. Okay. Cold in Florida, cold in California, cold in Texas, whatever it would be. So things could have started. This is the scary number. New building permits. Okay. And mind you, any construction company that's going to build houses has to go get a building permit before they can start. Building permits were down for this month, requests requests to build, down 11.2%. Last month, they were down 3.3%. So the builders are putting the brakes on even trying to start building new property. Now, I'm talking to friends here. In when I, even when I was at the animal shelter making the donation last week, uh, or a couple of weeks ago, I guess it was. When I was at the animal shelter, uh, the lady said they had a whole bunch of volunteers from a home builder there in town uh, working that day because the boss told them they could either go volunteer at the animal shelter and get paid that day, or they could just take it as an unpaid day off because they were only building about 60% of their normal amount of homes. Okay, slowed down even talking to friends of mine, where they have said they're shifting away from building single-family homes and going toward building 
multifamily homes, apartments and that sort of stuff, condos, duplexes, fourplexes, whatever it would be. Because the cost of a home with rising interest rates, with rising wages, and with rising material costs has gotten prohibitively expensive, which has priced people out of the market. I told you the other day, nearly 50% of young adults are now living at home with mom and dad because they can't afford to buy a house. Now, of course, they're still wasting money on Starbucks and fancy cars and not saving any of this money, but that was that video, not this one. The other part of that is, too, is they want to have the same house that mom and dad have after mom and dad worked for 30 years and worked their way up. They want to start with their McMansions. They don't want to start a starter home. Okay, that's a completely different issue. That's the entitlement age. Okay, but where you get into that problem as well is you have a lot of builders that aren't building starter homes, aren't building affordable homes, okay? And when I'm talking about affordable homes at this point, I'm probably talking about ones that are, under, you know, $200,000 or under, all right? <laughs> Which is still a lot of freaking money. You know, when you're talking about your basic neighborhood being $300,000, $400,000, I'm not talking San Francisco, I'm talking your average town in the country. That starts getting prohibitively expensive. Then you start getting out in the rural areas and good luck finding anybody that will come out and do the work in the rural areas. I can speak from that for, from personal experience, okay, with building the garage. Getting people to come out here to do it was like pulling teeth. So if you're looking to make a change, Okay. And like I, you know, the other video I did the other day was you might be in a situation where you want to stay where you are. If you're looking to make a change, I will give you a suggestion. Again, this is my opinion. Okay. Take it as you see it. If you're planning on building, maybe go buy the land now and just sit on the land until the, the, the market gets a little better, okay, if you can find decent land for a decent price. There are still plenty of people that are very proud of the land they have. I know that from around here. It's like, okay, they're asking, you know, $120,000 or something like that for a property that might sell for fifty, and, you know, it's been for sale forever. They're not going to get it, okay. But look around, because at least for the land, what you may find at this point is that people are willing to unload the land for a good price because maybe they're sick of sitting on it. You know, I, I know you, people say, oh, you don't want to insult somebody. Somebody's got a piece of property for 120 grand. Offer, if you think it's worth 50, offer them 50. They might take it, okay? Worst they can tell you, no. As for Buying an existing home right now, again, that goes back to the same thing I talked about before, selling at the top, buying at the top. Okay. Sure, if you're selling in California and moving to Texas, yeah, you can sell your little 1960s Rambler and buy a big house in Texas just because of the cost, cost differential. But watch this. I, personal opinion, again, personal opinion. I would be considering land at this point strongly. I would be adverse to building yet. Uh, and if you're looking at building a house in a subdivision or something like that, I would certainly just wait. Uh, you know, any of the building parts right now, I think the home builders are telling you everything you need to know. If they're not pulling building permits, that's because they know the costs are going to be too high. And what they're afraid of is putting $200,000 into a house and then only being able to sell it for $200,000 or not sell it at all and have to sit on it and wind up not making any money. Remember, I mean, the builders are businesses too, and they've got to pay all the contractors. So they're out money 
paying the concrete guys, paying the framers, paying the lumber, paying for the uh, plumbers, whatever would be the finish guys, you name it. They got to pay all those guys and then they get their money back when they sell the house. You know, of course, if you're custom home, you're getting a construction loan and there's difference there, but I'm talking about your standard building permits right here for builders. Look at land. You, you're not going to go wrong with land if you can get it for a good price. You know, as the old saying goes, they ain't making any more of it, All right? You know, if, if that's the objective, find the land where you want to do. You're going to easily be able to wait till next year uh, to build your house inevitably cheaper. Maybe rates come down, whether you do a construction loan, whether it's a mortgage, whatever it would be, however you wrap that whole thing together. But something's going to have to give. And at least if you have the land, then you can figure out what's in the budget for what I want to build. But the housing, the, the housing numbers, the building numbers tell you everything you need to know about the housing economy, the overall economy right now. We're still going down. Yeah, I know. More bad news out of the economy. But what do you want? Biden's still president. Pinball out.